down this road many times before at Michigan and at San Diego State. Yeah, and you watch Steve Fisher on the sidelines, and it really uh, kind of belies what you just said to a certain extent. He's been through it, should be nervous, but he is just as calm as you want to be. Going to be a huge factor. Brown had a big night against Georgetown with 24 points on Friday. Here comes Franklin with a quick quick screw movement. When they're at their best, they have they don't run a lot of plays with, with these athletes, so they want to get going quickly. Brown hits the oh. comes Florida Gulf Coast, who became the seventh 15 seed to win against two seed Georgetown. Tapley leads a three on three. And Fielder picks it up, and Comer the other way. He had the 12 points and 10 assists on Friday. Thompson navigates his way down the lane. Zavichinen and Eddie Murray now check in for the Eagles. And a quick back. Kansas is a relentless defensive team. Carolina relied too much on the three, and it came back to hurt him. There were two seconds left on the shot clock after that break. The other way in the alley. That was slammed down by Deshaun Stevens. Versus Oklahoma. This is 17 points in 19 minutes. Three, Rehan. And he stays hot. First guard, Rehan. He got a screen from O'Brien. Yeah. You can see that Steve Fisher and his team really has watched that tape versus Georgetown because all those alley oops as Verda knocks down his first. This is Georgetown. San Diego State is really packing the paint now, a lot, not allowing that. Franklin huh. and that's Jamal. Franklin. Got a great three-point shooting, shooting 38% on the year, but he's made 32 of them. Deflected by Thompson. Good hustle. Saves it with a hesitation oh, nice. and the long 6'9 sophomore from Raleigh, North Carolina. I was mentioning before San Diego State taking away the alley oop. But they're leaving the jumper oh, wide open. Before the Gulf Coast guard, Brett Comer lost his dad, Troy, to lung cancer back in January of 2010. And for that young man, it has been a long road of managing the grief of his dad's loss. Troy was the man who coached him in AAU basketball, built the basketball court back behind their house, and spent countless hours helping him with the game. Now, you'll see the tattoos on his arm that honor his dad's life. And before the game, I talked to his mom, and she said that Troy got the RIP for his dad just in November of 2012, and the other on the outside of his arm just three months ago. And according to her, those tattoos represent a huge step in closure. Brett said that it's so crazy how much he still thinks of his dad before, during, and after the games, and he said, I am me because of him. Kevin? And the obituary read that the son was the father's best friend. Three years ago that happened. Thinks about him in moments like this in the NCAA tournament. Great stuff, Lewis. Thank you so much. And what was interesting is after that upset win versus Georgetown, and we were watching the players as they were celebrating on the court, you could kind of see him connecting with his mom and looking up, and what a very reflective moment of the young man. Long two put down by Sherwood Brown. A 10 to two, last four possessions. Here they go under 10 to play now in the first half. Tapley with a nice fake. Rayhan outside working on Brown to the rack. Gets his own miss up and down. Got it. He got it to go. Boy, he's come off the bench range already and put in five quick ones for the Astros. Wasn't well, sure about I'll, the signal. I was, was going <laughs> to say, just like you used to do back in the day, yeah. right? But look, he still saves it. So you remember that McKnight sets a screen. Comer looking. Oh! 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 Winding up and <laughs> slipping it down. McKnight climbing the ladder. Four assists for Comer. That baby rock in the rim. Oh, inside, he rejects a shepherd scoop inside. Now you He's got playing both ends of the... Energizing into the ball game. And what better way to do that than you send the big man in alley-oop. Sends it home. Oh, the interesting part about it after seeing him Friday, should we be surprised? Whew. That's oh. the kind of stuff that shell shots your opponent. Rehan takes it in with an... Comer. As the Jayhawks have just taken care of the Tar Heels, here is Brown with a 17-foot back up. The floor there. Another reason why I like him guarding Brett Comer. Those, those alley-oops won't be there when you have a 6'8 guy guarding the point guard. Good point. Tampley got around Murray and scoops it home. Yeah, straight down from the elbow down to the block to get him an easy shot. Here's another alley-oop. That feeler caught himself in history to advance to the Sweet 16 in the Aztecs, going for their second Sweet 16 appearance in the last three seasons. 
slashing inside with the move. Tapley read three the other night, has a couple now, and Steve the 32 coming into this weekend, the third round. After this, Duke will play Creighton right here in Philadelphia. It's a three from Franklin. What a pretty stroke from outside. Nobody on every shot. A lot of runs in this game. Now San Diego State in a little 9-2 run. Rath outside, Thompson free to fire. Thames the close and down. When Georgetown made runs, and it seems like they're doing it tonight. Perinell is back in the game. Graf Thompson, McKnight is back in there. On the perimeter here is Murray. Brown is on the bench. Comer's on the bench. Here's a long mm. shot by Tackley. Movement, putting guys in better position to be successful looking at the rim. Under four to play and down by five. Here comes Florida Gulf Coast and Thompson on the wing. This is over Franklin. Oh, goodness. Okay. And gamble, especially against Jamal Franklin. Back out to Franklin. Good fake on Veradell. Tapley just hit the three. Goes by Thompson and hits a up now by four here late in the first half. Well, again, they've been able to do it with pretty good defense. Occasionally, Florida Gulf Coast has gotten away from them. But for the most part, they've been able to cover. It's here if you're Coach Andy Infield. You don't want to let this game get to double digits. Palmer somehow finds McKnight. Comer has a bench, shot clock continues to roll down to 13. Here comes Burke, who takes it high <laughs> and climbs up for the dunk and a foul called on the play. And count it to Woo! shock you. Take a look at this. On heaven, on angels' wings right there. Just rising to the occasion. On the side. Thompson with it right now. Rayon defending. Franklin goes out on Verida. It's Feeler working on Tuckley. I like it because he recognized he had the smaller. Not going to make that much of a difference. Franklin is going up against Brown outside of Tampley. A good scoring first half for him. Ten seconds on the clock. Brown watching Franklin fire. It's a long two. It's two fouls. And when you're guarding the best offensive player in Jamal Franklin, you can't be as aggressive as you want defensively. And you also can't try and play Mano Imano. That's exactly the kind of night Comer's got the ball. Feeler on the other side, who was racing off that baseline. Thompson on the wing. Inside, knocked away. And then stuffed back up and in by Eric Mc... San Diego State now, 1-2. And they go inside. He tried the reverse, and he got it to go. Still, even though it took a finger to the eyes, technically comes the other way. Here's Thompson with a shove. And back out to Comer. Oh, nice fake. The team has got three fouls. It's so important that he stays engaged and focused on the bench because they're going to need him. But this kid, Farinello, kicks up his what heels right. As soon as it left, he started falling back. Isn't that what great shooters do? Absolutely. And you know as soon as it leaves your hand. Thames has just gone final. They advance. Comer on the run. Rebound by Thames. Now approaching. Five minutes gone. They go for the alley oop. <laughs> and with a sledgehammer inside is Jamal Franklin. Player of the year from a season ago. Did not win it this year. Fair a long three. Picked up by Murray inside. Tristan and turning. And Veridel, who's picked up by Rehan on the move and a straight two. Is inside and kisses it off the glass. And his mom here on Friday. Here's a steal by Thompson trying to finish at the other end and ties. We saw one in the first half. That's I don't know. The house is kind of mixed now. You got the San Diego State folks urging their team on. Intercepted by Comer. Here come the Eagles. Comer has Rehan on his heels and feeds to Thompson. What a pass and what a play. You're saying this, you're saying this is even? I can't listen. Back to Rehan, a good fake on Feeler, and he'll slide down the baseline. Can't get it to go. Inside, Shepard corrals it. Oh, nice rebound by Rahan, but he loses it. And now Comer again. He'll try to free it. He's got wings. He's got a trailer. And he's got Feeler! led to six points but the bottom line is steve fisher has his hands full i didn't like the body language of san diego state as they went back to the huddle get a good feed here to O'Brien. it came from franklin that's the way the answer definitely to franklin 
Duradell is on him. Duradell's come off the bench and starts for him. A turnover right there. It is Thompson to Comer against Kepley. Tell you what, all those backyard games for them, working on their games while they were AAU players, shows you this. Surely paid off. He laser one inside to Franklin with all kinds of congestion. Shepard the assist. And Franklin now has gone seven of nine. He's got 17. That's a steal. And they have fame. Back on defense. Didn't end. He's and the rebound just down by Thompson. I'll tell you what, two rush shots there by Chase Tapley on back-to-back -back possessions. You know, those are kind of the hero shots you're trying to make to tie it up, but you got to work. Oh, Brown with a three, and that was a long one. And picked up by Thompson and Comer. What is wrong with a little jump stop right there in the paint and a short jump shot? Comer with it. Tapley will defend. Oh, no, he did. Once again, he's just given four to golf post. There. There's McKnight. Shoves it into Brown. No call. And to the result. And an 8 nothing run since Brown came off the bench. And, back. and they tear. Comer with the miss. Here comes Tapley. Knifing his way through another turnover. And it's picked up by Brown. Trying to do far too much right now. So that's all you. San Diego State feeling the pressure. Tonight for a chance to move on to the Sweet 16. Feeler to Comer. Comer is 4 of 13, firing away. Rayhan right there to Thompson by Franklin for two. Uh. Now, for all you kids that are watching this game, that was a textbook move. In serious trouble right now, and the only way they can get out of it is as a group. And for this half, they're 7 of 21, only 33%. Feeler not to the way. Thompson will take it off to Baradell and put in by Thompson. They have. You cannot get back in the game with one pass and one shot. Unless you're making them, of course, which they're not. Feeler. Touch the lane. That will go in. Everything they're throwing up is going down. And there's no surprise in that shot. Conference. They're about to lose their sole remaining representative here in the third round. Ames is inside of number two defenders for the Eagles. He puts it through with under four to play. That's why you don't use a great deal of the objective when you're judging teams and how they're going to compete. McKnight from Comer. Seven for McComer's passing has been terrific. He's got 12 assists tonight. He had 10 the other night. And Tapley with a three, and that's right down the hand. This game, as it turns out, for the Eagles. And remember when he came back in, I was curious to see, did he stay engaged? You know, there's a lot of times, a lot of these players, sometimes they'll go south because their number is the call. And there he is again. Brett Comer, a team assist for the Eagles. In a town which has an NFL team called the Eagles, the visiting Eagles have been terrific. This team is for real. Hey, no question about it. And they bring their best when the pressure is on. Palmer's pit popping right there by Thane. Oh, and that was a nice handoff to the trailer. Being and around the country have just been caught up with Florida Gulf Coast Fever. I, I agree with you, Reds. And you know what? Many times you have these kind of upsets, so-called upsets, and people will say, Thompson. I didn't know we had that kind of hot. Didn't I tell you? You get knocked out by their athleticism. But going back to the point I made, I was trying to make, many times people say, well, if these two teams play ten times, the, the favorite would win seven, eight times. This is just a fluke. This is no fluke, folks. This team is good. The other way. Laredell was defending. Franklin just hit that three. It's deflected by Murray in the other way. Comer. Now, if Comer was going to be thrown in the towel then, right? I was going to say. Beautiful outside shot going in from three with under a minute to play. Saw Georgetown do this against them on Friday. Hit the threes and never say die. Verdo. Feeler in the corner. Right on top. Thompson. Verdo from Switzerland. His brother is here. His mother wants the Friday win. And you know why I say this team is for real? San Diego State, 19th in the country in field goal percentage defense, allowing only 60 points a game. 
Florida Gulf Coast just dropped 81 on him. It's picked up. And Franklin will put up the running three. Stevens inside. He gets the two. Well, some tournament history tonight. The Florida Gulf Coast story, this improbable story continues in their NCAA tournament debut. They're going to the Sweet 16. That's respect. Great young fella. Great, great, great. So I told you you're going to put it on the show, right? <laughs> I sure did. Miss John, congratulations. Congratulations, Bernard. This is great. And you know what? They should celebrate like this. Chanting Andy, 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 because it's been his system, and they rallied around this 